Hi guys, Dark Aperture here, and today, this is a continuation of Justic Episode 3. Except this time, it's not a rumor. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Holy crap. They released, they're announcing new CPUs, the FX 9590 and 9370. Now, it's just, it seems like a normal follow-up, right? But, if you got the not a rumor thing and watch Just Tech Episode 3, you know the thing. The FX 9590 versus the FX850's boost clock of 4.2 GHz and normal clock of 4.0 GHz, already pretty high for a CPU, has a turbo clock of 5 GHz and a normal clock speed of 4.7 GHz. And all I can say is, holy crap, that is all, holy crap AMD, are you insane, if you're trying to get, you might have the liquid cooling to come with this, this is us going to burn otherwise, hmm. And look at this. You gain a 76% in increase in power consumption versus versus just a 90% increase in clock speed. The point isn't even there. It's got 220 watt TDP. Wow. Wow. Oh. Just. I can't do much to say here. This is weights itself. The 4970's normal clock speed is a more reasonable 4.4 GHz, and I say reasonable very loosely, because neither of these clock speeds are reasonable. <sighs> I can already tell this is going to have problems, AMD. You already have problems, going to have problems with this thing. These CPUs are going to have heat problems from day one. That is a, not a, uh, that is not an opinion, that is a fact. There will be heat problems. Unless it's stock liquid cooling, or we drop the stock cooler entirely and give and make you get an aftermarket cooler, because ah, oh, you're gonna have to spend the top end liquid cooling to get to get to use the CPU without overheating. The 9370 you can get more humble aftermarket, but for 9590, yeah. And you know what's even worse? This is not even going to be true, these clock speeds. I bet you, this is not going to happen. You know why? Because it's going to throttle. You're going to see throttling if you have this CPU. I'm betting on a AMD can put work miracles. Which, face it, after Bulldozer, AMD doesn't always work miracles. Guess what? Do you want to know insane I'm over this? I'm so insane I stopped the Linus live stream right now. The Linus live stream. Just to. That's actually live right now. When I'm recording this. Just to make a video about this. To tell you guys. It's going to throttle, guys. It's going to hit like. And even if it throttles, it's just going to hit like 90 degrees if it, they don't do work miracles here. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Holy crap, AMD. What the heck? I'm so sure you'll see people like Jay-Z Two Cents or whatever. They're going to come out and say the same things that I'm saying right now. And they'd be right. This is just going to throw to the point. Will B go to an AV50? Yeah, I don't even think they've really changed the architecture. Maybe they just streamlined the firm. They make it may have run cooler so they could hit this clock speed. I don't even think there might there'll be an architectural difference. Just test it. I know there will be a minor architectural difference, but hardly a difference to consider this. Because if you don't have the world's best cooler, you're not going to be able to get these speeds. And even then, it's going to be very hot. AMD, we could always just up overclock an AV50 to 5 gigahertz if you want to. You don't want have to do this. Just make a more, just make a humble like 3.6 gigahertz CPU that can compete with the i7 Extremes, the Ivy Beard G in particular. Don't just jack up the clock speed. We can do 
Just leave it as an option for us to do it to get more out of the CPU. Instead of having throttling problems like this. And as of now, Ivory Bridge and Haswell on fire, dude. You don't have to worry about that. You won't have to worry. So just set it at a speed that's the same as I, I said in Extreme. Maybe make it a bit slower, but advertise it on its overclocking. Something Ivory Bridge since certain Ivy Bridge is not weak overclocking, won't be able to do. Just AMD, you you guys are losing it. This is you're making the next Pentium 4. Do you want that to have to be an Intel shoes? We just release have a, this architecture that really screws up, and then you like, and then you have no choice but to jack up the clock speed to make it better than your last gen CPU. Hey, if you went 50 wasn't even as good as the 1100T. Holy crap, and I could prove that with benchmarks. The 1100T was better than the A150. Better than the next generation processor. What? You're making another misstep, AMD. You gotta find yourself. AM4, you'll have to make the next gen CPUs AM4. Not 5 GHz. You have to get an AM4 socket that supports every, all the latest crap. And make it completely design its architecture, because the CFX architecture is not working out too well for you right now. I mean, Qualcomm is an ARM chip company where they sell high in CPUs for 20 bucks, is gaining more revenue right now. So is Samsung, and I'm nearly as big. Look, look. AMD. You've got to gain some market back by making, by making like, say, the AMD Phenom free. But make it a di way different architecture from the other phenoms. Totally destroy, like, Broadwell. Destroy Skylake. Destroy whatever they got after that. Don't remember the other code name. But, AMD. This isn't the way to go. Don't bring back the Gigahertz race. And to people that like, go in the comments saying the future CPU ran 9.6 Gigahertz, no, it won't. Because that'll make it explode. We're lucky we could get the clock speeds we have today. Goodbye, guys. Just wow, Andy. Wow.